Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured members bolo video and you guys are gonna want to stay until the end. These bolos are amazing. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the bolo and then I'm gonna tell you the YouTuber that is a member, show you their channel. And then once I get through everyone, we're gonna do a speed round at the end where I don't show the channel. So it's just bolo, 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 bolo. Okay. Now, um, if you're new to the channel, um, I do have memberships. If you would like to be a member there, you get perks. My channel is completely free, but if you want the perks, um, it's like a dollar 99, four 99 and nine 99. Um, this video, if you become a member is the $4 and 99 cents a month. And you guys, if you think about that, that's really cheap advertising. So if you have an eBay store or a YouTube channel, it's a great way to get the word out for five bucks a month, essentially, you know, but anyhow, um, and check with your accountant, but I would consider that advertising because I'm advertising your, um, either eBay store or YouTube channel. So you might be able to write it off. So check with your CPA. All right, you guys, let's get started with some big money bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And this is my favorite video because I learn so much. And um, some of these things I would have walked right past. Also, there's gonna be a bonus video for, a fe uh, for the featured members this month. And it's going to be on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Let me pop that up and show you guys exactly what that looks like. Um, and thank you, everyone. I just hit 10K subs over here. So my sourcing with Bolo Buddies, I have 1.62 subscribers. So definitely go sub because I know a lot of you are not subbed over there because there is a big difference in numbers. But I started this channel way later. But um, yeah. So I'm going to do the bonus video over on this channel and the bonus video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feature one item from each of the members and it's going to be a unique or different, unexpected. I went through their solds and picked something that kind of like raised my eyebrows like, oh, that's interesting. I don't know if I would have picked that up. So that video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to range from bread and butter to big money, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you are subscribed to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, and um, I'll link that down in the description also. I'll also link the memberships if you want to check that out. And there's always a little uh, join button right here. And if you don't see it, um, I don't know if it shows up when you're on your mobile phone, um, but I do have a link in the description, so you can check that out. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to join, that would be amazing. And if not, no worries, keep coming back for the Bolo content. Um, it's all free. So thanks for being here. And we are going to get started with these big money Bolos. All right. Um, there was something I thought I was going to tell you just a second here. Oh yeah. Um, I didn't show you guys this. Hold on one second. Let me share my screen. Oops. Okay. This is my main Bolo Buddies channel, and this tells you about the different membership levels. Um, and then the featured member video, these are the last two that I did. I used the same type of thumbnail. Um, I might switch it up this time, but um, I think I have four different videos. So if you want to go check out how they work, uh, you can definitely go check out one of those, or you can just uh, check out the memberships video. That may be helpful. But if you click the join button, I think it takes you directly to that video. All right, big money bellows. Here we come. The first one is from, let me make sure I'm on screen share. That would stink. Okay. The first one comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. And she actually has a video where she's sourcing this item. So definitely check out her channel. And this is like a Hawaiian dress. And it's vintage and it's new with tags. Check it out. And it's a 3XL. So it is a fantastic size. Um, the original price of this was $74.99. But as we all know, when things are vintage, the value goes up 
when um, they become vintage because you can't get them anymore. So she sold this dress for $82.46 plus shipping, and she picked it up at a thrift store for $4.29. So really, really great item. And this is her channel, Chosen Goods. You guys, she has 11 videos and she already has 364 subscribers. So that is fantastic. So definitely go and check her out. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to do something. I'll do it in the next video. All right, here we go. Um, the next item is, uh, let me do her eBay store first because I'm not gonna remember the name of it because it's kind of long. It's called Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. And I will tell you guys, she has amazing items. I mean, they are just all so different. I can just scroll through her store and look at all the different items that she has listed. She's She has an amazing eye. So super, super cool. Definitely check her out. She is not a YouTuber. Um, she has been a longtime follower of the channel. And I actually featured her store a long time ago in a featured seller video because she just has really cool stuff. And she's a member of my Facebook group. So she recently joined memberships and I'm so glad that she did because you guys are gonna learn so much from her. Um, but yeah, let me show you her item, but I'll link her store down in the description along with everyone else's. Their store, eBay store and their YouTube channel will be down in the description. Okay, so this is what she sold. It's Judy Bomberger, Bomberber. I probably said that wrong. It's a metal frog angel sculpture. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not sure I would have looked twice at this. Um, it, it's interesting, but it's dated and signed on the back. But she said she got it at a Oakland Museum white elephant sale by Judy Boom. Bomberger, Bomberger. I think I'm saying that right. So I'm not really sure exactly what that means, if it's like a private sale or what, but she only paid $40 for it, you guys. And um, I did not write down what she sold it for. She took a best offer, but I was thinking it was in the 200 and some range. I thought it was 275, but it's marked through. So I'll have to, I'll have to ask her about that. But I, she sold it for a lot. A lot more than she paid for it. So this Judy Bum Bumberger, <laughs> if you see that uh, signature right there, definitely look it up and see if the item is a bolo. Okay, again, there's her store. All right, the next one. This one belongs to Money Making Mama. And uh, you guys, this is really crazy. I don't know if you have an Ollie's. It's a type of discount store, but I have an Ollie's near me and I never go there, but she has me thinking twice. So this is clinical strength deodorant. Okay. And she bought, um, well, she has five sets of two and she's already sold three of them. And uh, she got these at Ollie's for 99 cents each. So she's got $2 in this. She's selling it for, it looks like if you buy two sets, it would be $26.09 each. So I don't know if the same person bought all three or not, but $28.99 for two of them, okay? Free shipping, but they shouldn't be too expensive to ship. I don't know if that's still going to fall under first class or not, but either way, she's got $2 in this. And she's already flipped three of them. 99 cents each. How cool is that? I don't know. I probably would have walked right past it. I had no idea that deodorant was, and it's not even, it's not expired. It's still good. I didn't know deodorant expired. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Maybe because it's clinical strength. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, money making mama. She, um, is just starting her YouTube journey for reselling. So she has other content on her channel, but she's going to focus on reselling from I think this point forward is how I understand it. There may be some other stuff mixed in, I'm not sure. But um, she has two videos up so far. So definitely go and check those out. I checked out this jewel candle. I didn't even know such a thing in, uh, existed. 
it's super cool. Go check it out. You'll be like, what? Or maybe you know about it. Maybe I just am clueless. All right. The next item was sold by Be Carried Away. And this is a vintage antique. Uh, it's a cottage doll dollhouse. And it's folk art, you guys. That means somebody made it. It's original. It's one of a kind. O-O-A-K is one of a kind. And it took me a long time to figure that out. I think I figured it out when I was recording the video, which is kind of embarrassing. But anyway, if you didn't know, now you know. And uh, this little cottage. Okay, she got this off of Facebook Marketplace. She paid $30 for it and took a best offer of $300 plus $75 shipping. So it doesn't even seem like it's really super big. So super cool. Um, super cool bolo right there. So it probably wouldn't be too bad to ship. And this is Carrie's channel, Be Carried Away. And you guys, she is very, um, she has great descriptive words. Uh, she does hard goods and she also does um, vintage clothing. So definitely check her out. That's something I do not do on my channel much of, not much uh, clothing anymore. I do pick up some vintage clothing from time to time, but I'm done with those measurements. All right, you guys, this is hilarious. Um, this is a Pez plush. <laughs> Check it out. Pez plush. And it's 36 inches. It's pretty cool. Be a good like body pillow. And then there's this one for a kid, of course. Um, an adult would look pretty silly cuddling with a big Pez, but hey, you never know to each their own. Uh, Philly Flipper sold both of these to the same person. And he paid $5 each for these, I believe at a thrift store. And they sold for $130 for both of them. So he ended up taking a best offer because it was the same person buying both. And he went for the quick flip and got $130. So his $10 investment turned into $130. He did have free shipping on it, but it was a um, location that was close to his. So it wasn't too bad. All right, you guys, this is Philly Flipper on um, YouTube. He also has another YouTube channel called Philly Flipper Live, where he only does live shows. So definitely go check him out. He's been scoring some great finds at garage sales. The next one is auctions for you. And I do not have a bolo this week or this month for you guys, because she has been in the process of moving from one state to another. So her eBay store was shut down. But I did want to share her channel because I source from her. Um, I buy uh, boxes, reseller boxes from her and Donatella Bottolino. And they are on each other's channels and they sell great stuff to resell. They buy it in bulk and they don't have time to list it. They do put some things on eBay. Um, but for the most part, most of the stuff goes out during their selling events. So definitely check them out. I will have them linked also in the description. All right, we have this Lego set. Speaking of Donatella Bottolino, now she did pay up for this. She paid $150 to a friend of hers for this. And um, it sold within three weeks for $425. You guys, this is a pre-owned Lego set. So she did pay up for it, but she knows that it's a bolo. It's 10,276 pieces. Or no, wait, wonder what that means. It's, it's got like a dash and then 9,036. That's what it says on here. Anybody know what that means? Huh, that's interesting. Super, super cool. Super cool bolo. I, I need to find like six of these. Uh, here is Donatella's channel. And again, she does selling events. She does post um, like if she buys storage units and stuff like that. So she does have other reseller content on here. And she also does from time to time share family videos also. So um, her and T auctions for you have a really close relationship like with their viewers. So they, you know, they talk and chat during their auctions. So it's not just a selling event. It's kind of a chit chat also. So you'll really get to know them and their family and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. All right. The next item is 
are these boots. And I saw this and I'm like, $777. And I sent her a message. She's like, I don't know why eBay does that. You know, like when there's a best offer that's accepted, why can't they just tell us what it sold for? Um, but anyway, she got these at an estate sale. And when I say she, I am talking about Danielle Yard Sales and Dreams. And she sold these for a best offer of $200 and she paid three at an estate sale. So she went for the quick flip. I'm guessing she probably could have held out um, because these are World, World War II military boots. She probably could have held out for more than 200. You see she had them priced very, very, I, I'm going to say high, but maybe it's not high. Who knows? I'm not an expert with World War II stuff. I know a lot of that if it's original, can go for big money. So um, yeah, she took a best offer of $200 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is Yard Sales and Dreams. And congratulations, Danielle, on 1K subs. And if you check out this home shopping long before Amazon, I am, I do a short one minute, I think it's one minute clip in this. And then there's some other resellers that also joined in on this. So it's a super fun video. I'm not going to tell you all about it because I want you to go watch it. But um, I am a guest reseller in that video. So go check it out. All right. The next item is this vintage polo Ralph Lauren shirt. And this one was sold by Thrifting with the Joneses. And you guys, what you're going to get from them, their channel that you do not get from mine is clothing. Now, this is more of a, a, it's a vintage Ralph Lauren, but they also sell tons of mall brands. So if you want to learn about mall brands and how to sell things that you can pick up really cheap, really easy, like at garage sales and thrift stores for, for cheap, they're flipping them for good money. Like I was watching, um, one of their videos and I'm like, wow, these things are like selling for almost what they retail for. This is weird. Um, so yeah, I was really like shocked, honestly. And they are, I think they're on track to make a hundred K this year. So, um, definitely go check them out on YouTube and Facebook. And I'll show you that here in a minute, but they have a salvation army where they get stuff for like a buck. And, um, I don't have a Salvation Army around me. I have Goodwills and just thrift stores, but no Salvation Army. So I don't know if that's typical or not, or if they're going like on dollar day or a sale day, but they picked this up for a dollar. And this is an older style um, lamb's wool polo shirt. And they sold this for $70, you guys, and they picked it up for a buck at the Salvation Army. Here is their... Uh, Facebook group, which is growing like crazy. Um, they are up to 815 members already. So definitely go check that out. And here is their YouTube channel. They just started putting YouTube uh, content up and uh, you can see some really uh, great info for resellers. So definitely check that out. How eBay search works. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. Profitable profitable things to sell online, but clothing, clothing, clothing. If you guys want clothing, there you go. <laughs> Cause I don't give you clothing. All right. The next one, you guys, this one is going to blow your mind. Um, this one comes from mindful recycle and she hit the jackpot. So she went to an estate sale and I'm not going to give you all the details, but she went to an estate sale and got all of these model car kits. And these are not your average model car kits, you guys. These are amazing. She paid $526 for this model car kit. Talk about taking a risk, right? And she sold it for a best offer of $2,500. Now, she could have held out. She had it listed for $3,999, but she wanted to recoup some of her money. So if you go and watch her video, she's going to tell you all about it, and she's going to tell you... um. Uh oh, did I not pull up her channel? I didn't. How did I do that? Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, but anyway, in the video, she tells you, I think it's her most recent video right now. And it says like, um, 
I think it's her most recent video. But go check that out. I can't pause this. Uh, let me try something here. Bear with me, guys. Um, let me go off of here and then I can pull it up real quick. I want you guys to see it. It's worth it. It's so worth it. Um, okay. I thought I had everything pulled up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we have it. You're like, I can't see it. Okay, let me get it back on screen share. Okay, so mindful recycle. Here it is. Spending 3000 on estate sale fines. So um, that's the one you want to go and watch. But she has fantastic content. So go watch them all. But um, anyway, yeah, she got more than one. Let me just tell you that. All right. So the next one is um, Vandy's Closet. And I did not hear back from her, but I wanted to get the video done tonight. But most of her items come from the Goodwill bins. I'm not sure if that's where this came from, but if it did, this would have been by weight. So um, I can't tell you for sure. But Vintage Gucci is, of course, going to be a bolo. She sold this for $150 on Poshmark. And the next, oh, let me show you her channel. And she's taken a little bit of a YouTube break. She hasn't put a video up in three months, but I'm guessing she's going to be back. So definitely give her a sub. All right. The next item is from Franklin Hill Ventures. And he sold this 1918 Bird Woman book. How cool is this? Look how old it is, you guys. Is that amazing or what? And it's got some wear to it. He picked this up at an antique booth for $5 and he took a best offer of $48 for this vintage book. You know what? That's antique, right? 1918. Yep. Over a hundred years old. So very, very cool. And you can check him out on YouTube at Franklin Hill Ventures. And you guys, he also has booths. So um, he's selling on multiple platforms and he has booths. So definitely check him out. All right. The next one is from Butterfly Hustles. This is a copper vine with roses, driftwood, and it's signed. How cool is that? The flowers are copper. That's pretty amazing. And what's even more amazing is that she got it at the Goodwill and it was only $5.49. Like my Goodwill is pricey now. So I'm guessing something like that would have been a lot more. Um, she took a best offer of, I can't read my writing, 86. I think that says $86 plus shipping. And Butterfly Hustles, this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and check her out. Um, she shops at this Value Village a lot. And man, oh man, she finds some good stuff. I've never seen a Value, value Village around me, but I wish we had one. Not that I would have the same results, but you know, you hope. Um, Weeds of the West. Okay, so this is from a little bluebird. And she got this for 99 cents at a thrift store. And she took a best offer of 75. And Weeds of the West. I mean, it's a book about weeds, you guys. And it's a bolo. So it's from 2004. It's a ninth edition. So it's not like it's a first edition. It's a paperback. I wouldn't even look twice at this. So awesome for her for picking this up and knowing that it was something that could potentially be big money because I would not have known. And um, she does have a YouTube channel, but she's only got a few videos. She's just kind of playing around with it. So I'm going to feature her eBay store, which is also called A Little Bluebird. And again, she has a great variety of items for sale, um, hard goods and clothing. So Again, links will be down in the description of the video. The next item is this mid-century modern vase. It's from Western Germany, which is really, really cool. Um, I, I just think it's really neat. Uh, she got this. This is from Niche Quay. She got it from a thrift store. She paid $16 for it, and it sold for $140.24. Um, she does not have a YouTube channel and yes, she knows thrifter is spelled wrong. We were just trying to see if you guys were paying attention. Um, 
I don't know if she's going to change it or not. I told her last time that a few people brought it up. So um, I think it's kind of fun. See, see how many people notice, right? And again, she has really, really cool stuff, clothing and hard goods, but she does focus on vintage. I've been watching her. Uh, she posts a lot of cool things on Instagram, so you can check her out there also. So that is Nish Quay. And yeah, Nish Quay Thrifter. All right. This guy, Gujitsu, is Bla Blazagon, Super Supagu. I have no idea. I've never seen this before. It's a moose toys and it does have lights and sound. I am definitely going to be on the lookout for him. So he's got a little paw print there on his shorts. I mean, it doesn't look, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I would have known it was worth that much. So uh, she does have the video on her YouTube channel. So let's talk about this. She got this at the Benz. So at the most $2. And she took a best offer of $55 and she said it sold fast. And here is Thrifty Nurse over on YouTube. Um, she's putting out some great content with lots of bolo items. So definitely go and check her out. Um, she's up to 205 subscribers. So let's get her to 300, you guys. All right. The next one is from It's All Good. Um, it's All Goods 94. And she actually did a video on this. So you guys know how, how I have my reseller testing products channel and I test things and I show that they work for my eBay store. She did that over on her channel. So this is super, super cool. Um, I knew this was a bolo, but she sold it for $149.99. She picked it up at a garage sale for $20, you guys. And shipping is quite expensive because it's a pretty big item. Like the box is big, the dimensions. So definitely be on the lookout for Mr. Christmas Mickey's Tree Trimmer. It's a four foot ladder animated Disney and it's from 1993. And here's her channel and you can see right here um, the trim the tree Mickey's and then she's got um, a couple other things that she listed. So her channel would be kind of like my reseller testing products. And the next one is, you know what? Yeah. Okay. So this is from Toledo Antique. And I just did a video on an item that they sold for big money. And you've got to go watch the video. It's like an orange thumbnail. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to pull it up here in a minute. But anyway, this is a obviously sought after kind of rare item because it went for $620. That's what the bottom looks like. Um, I think they started this out at $99 and I don't think they knew that it was going to go this high. I remember, um, he texted me and he's like, Whoa, check out this auction. And I was like, wow. So it's a hand painted bird vase and it sold for $620 plus shipping they received this on consignment. So part of that money will go to the person that um, gave it to them. Here they are on um, YouTube, Toledo Antique. They're a husband and wife team. Definitely go and give them a sub. They also do selling events on their channel. So um, you might be able to find a super good deal. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, go check out this video right here. Um, I tell you a little story. It's a crazy story, something that happened to them. And wow. So, uh, and you'll find out a big, about a big money bolo. So go check that out. All right, you guys, this is our speed round. So we are just going to go straight through all the bolo items and you guys are going to learn as I did. Okay. So this was, um, it's a Mack truck bib overalls, but they're for kids. They're a small size. And she picked these up at a antique store. She paid 23 for it. And she took a best offer of 160. So this is from yard sales and dreams. And you can see, she put it on this uh, clown for the picture, just to kind of show the fit and everything. 
which is super, super, super fantastic bolo right there. I mean, it's Mack truck and it's vintage bibs. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? All right. The next item was from the thrifty nurse, and this is a print of, um, it's by Charles Bibbs. And she got this at a thrift store, you guys, for $4. And she said she had an offer for $75 that she thought about taking, but she held off and it sold for $150. I think it was the next day. So um, super, super cool. Uh, prints are, you know, you never know with a print. So just because it's a print doesn't mean it can't be a bolo. All right, the next item is from Be Carried Away. I thought this one was super cool. It's a vintage retro um, needlepoint framed. It's already finished, complete in the frame. And she got this at a Salvation Army for $3.99. So tell me, you guys, would you have picked this up to resell? Pretty crazy, right? I don't know if I would have. I think I would have walked right past it. $3.99. She sold it for $65.99 plus shipping. The next item was sold by Nishque Thrifter. She got this at a Value Village. So she has Value Villages also. Paid $4 and took a best offer of $90. So very, very cool. Fun little hat, right? Would you have picked it up? I think I would have picked that up. That's pretty cool. It's from the 20s or 30s. Um, it's beaded. It's got the pearls and the sequins, art deco. Some good keywords there. All right, you guys, this is Mindful Recycle. So she went to an estate sale and she picked up a whole bunch of Department 56 items. And these are part of a train. She bought the entire train. Um, I think she paid $300 for it. So the breakdown was $37.50 for this one piece. Um, yeah, department 56, Halloween, retired, bolo, bolo, bolo. Um, she sold this for $250. So definitely a bolo item to be on the lookout for. And that was mindful recycle. I love this one. So these are salt and pepper shakers and butterfly hustles found these at the value village and they sold for $124.50. I'm pretty sure. She didn't say they took a best offer. So I'm assuming that's the sold price. How cool. I love it. Definitely, definitely a bolo. Oh, I like the little soup can beside it to show size. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, $124.50 on those. I almost wonder like if she would have waited till Halloween and auctioned them starting at 100 do you guys think they would have went for more? I just know how crazy people get about vintage Halloween. I think I would have put Halloween in the title. Is it Halloween? Do you guys think it's Halloweeny? That's not a word. Halloweeny. I think they're Halloweeny. They look Halloweeny to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, you guys. The next item is this crazy haired Raggedy Ann. Leave it to Philly Flipper to pick up pick up a Raggedy Ann with the wrong color hair. Um, I don't think that's her like outfit. Like this is just a handmade doll. Uh, it resembles Raggedy Ann. Maybe it's Raggedy Ann's sister. Let's go with that. Um, we need to name her. You guys name the Raggedy Ann doll. She needs a new name. He got this at, I'm, I am curious to see what you guys put in the comments. Keep it clean. All right. Um, what did he pay? $3 at a thrift store. And it sold for $75 with free shipping. What do you guys think? Do you like the original Raggedy Ann or do you like her better? Chosen Goods reseller, Carissa, what do you think about this Raggedy Ann? I know you're a fan of Raggedy Ann, so let us know what you think her name should be. All right, the next one is from um, Thrifting with the Joneses. Again, another clothing item that he picked up for 99 cents at the Salvation Army. And this brand is Roar. And it's pretty, um, I, I wouldn't say embellished. Uh, what would you guys call that? Distressed, embroidered. It's got detail. 
Um, embellished, I would think, would be like gemstones and rhinestones and stuff like that. But anyway, this sold for $60 plus shipping. So this one came from Bandy's Closet. Again, I don't know where she got it, but it sold for $175. These are Stuart Weitzman black suede booties. And what caught my attention is the size. They're size six and a half. And I will tell you that size six and a half is a hard size for me personally to sell. So I'm not sure if maybe there's more of a market for those smaller sizes over on Poshmark or I don't know. But um, I do not do well with those sizes on eBay. I will tell you that. Or maybe I'm just picking bad shoes. All right, the next one. This one is also from Making Money Mama. Now, this is another new old stock item. As seen on TV, probably retired. She picked these up at a garage sale for a dollar each. She got six of them and they're selling for $44.95 with free shipping. And she is sold out. How cool is that? That's a that's a big turnaround. Six bucks all, for all of them. And they're selling for $44.95. So um, definitely a solar animal repeller. I don't even know what that is, but it's as seen on TV. So do you guys think as seen on TV items work or don't work? Let me know in the comments. The next item is this hydropeptide moisture reset facial oil. It's an anti-wrinkle cream. It is new and uh, Chosen Goods reseller got this out of a subscription box. So she buys those subscription boxes. She keeps what she wants and then sells the rest. This sold for $33.23 plus shipping. The next item is this Bajon Nude for Women um, EDT spray. Now, Donatella sold this to somebody and they messaged her. They opened the box and said they did not like the smell. So that is one thing about perfume that kind of stinks is um, that people can do that. So if you're selling perfume, be, be conscious of that. The bummer thing is this was new in the box. It was sealed and the person opened it and then opened a return. So definitely a bummer, but those things do happen. But if somebody has... Um, she did have 30 day returns, but you guys let's understand like if a seller has 30 day returns and the item is sealed, if you want to return that item, the item must be sealed. You can't use it and say, oh, I don't like the smell and then return it because the seller has returns because that's not the same. Okay. So the item must be returned in the condition that they bought it for it to be, um, to qualify as a return. Now will eBay side with the seller sometimes, but I think if you have free returns and a shipping handling time, I'm not sure if it's for everyone, but you can uh, deduct if they don't return it in the same condition. I don't know if that's available for everyone or just the people that offer the free returns. And do you guys know, let me know in the comments. I know that I have that option on some of my items. Um, I'm not sure if it's all of them or not. I don't get a ton of returns for um, item not as described. It's typically like the item didn't fit and stuff like that. Okay, so this is Royal Dalton. Dalton, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a sugar bowl with lid and a creamer. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. This one was picked up by... Franklin Hills Ventures from an estate sale. He paid $4 for it and took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. So it's a little creamer with a lid and a sugar bowl. Oh, wait. Sugar bowl with lid. Yeah, it's both and a creamer thing. Got it. And the next item came from a little bluebird. And this is a vintage Patagonia shirt, which is super, super cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a vintage one. She said it has wood buttons. And then check out the tag. Pat Aloha. Pat Aloha. Oh, that's interesting. And then it says Patagonia. Never seen anything like it. But I will definitely be on the lookout. She bought this for $3 at a thrift store and sold it for $72.25.
The next item belongs to It's All Goods. And this is a little, uh, I shouldn't say little, I don't know how big it is, but it's a robot from 1997 and Schilling Space Toy Robot, battery operated. So yeah, interesting, right? Never seen anything like it. It looks like it's got the box too. That's cool. Uh, got it at the Goodwill for $5 and took a best offer of 50 plus shipping. The next item is this clown photo. Okay, so here's another good story. Toledo Antique got this from an estate sale. They're at the estate sale. It's all of the leftovers, okay? So these are the items that did not sell at the estate sale. They paid $2,000 for approximately 1,000 items. So their cost of goods for this picture is $2. And I believe, yeah, it sold for the full asking price of $379.99. So I apologize for those of you that don't like clowns because I know there's a few of you out there. All right. The next item is this vintage mid-century modern abstract ceramic bird on metal stilts. This one is Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. Again, no YouTube channel, just an eBay store. And she got this for $5 at the Goodwill and it sold for $188. So definitely some big money bolos I would not have known about. And I appreciate everybody for watching. I appreciate everyone that's a member that shared their bolos. Um... Thank you all for being here. If you would like to check out memberships, again, there's a join button here if you're on your laptop. And if you don't see that, there should be a link in the description of the video. This is a featured members bolo video. And thank you for being here. Like I said, I think there's four others. Um, I think this is the fifth one. And again, there's going to be a bonus video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So stay tuned for that. This one will post first. So make sure you are subscribed to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. Hit that little bell that will alert you when I post new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.